Hi, welcome to 6-Minute Math. Sa video na ito, matututunan natin kung paano isulat ang equation ng circle in standard form and in general form given ang center at radius. For example, number 1, write the equation of a circle in standard and in general form given its center at 0,0, ,0 and r is equal to 5. If we recall the standard form of the equation of the circle, we have quantity x minus h squared plus quantity y minus k squared is equal to r squared. So, kailangan nating i-identify si h, si k, at si r. Ngayon, from the given, h is equal to 0 and k is equal to 0 and also r is equal to 5. So, given na si h, si k, at si r, pwede na nating i-substitute siya sa standard form ng circle. So, we get quantity x minus 0 squared plus quantity y minus 0 squared is equal to 5 squared. So, isi-simplify natin, we get x squared. Naging x squared siya since x minus 0 is equal to x. So, we have x squared. Next, plus y squared, naging y siya, y squared, since y minus 0 is equal to y, kaya naging y squared. And then, 5 squared is equal to 25, since 5 times 5 is equal to 25. So, that means, x squared plus y squared is equal to 25, yung standard form ng circle natin sa example number 1. Para naman maging general form, yung standard form ng circle, mula sa x squared plus y squared is equal to 25, ita transfer natin si 25 mula sa right side papunta sa left side. So magiging negative na siya kapag lumipat siya dito sa kabila. So, we get x squared plus y squared minus 25 is equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung general form of the circle. For example, number 2, ang center naman natin dito, we have 2 comma 6 and radius is equal to 3. So, identify lang natin si h, k, and r. From the given, h is equal to 2 and k is equal to 6, and r is equal to 3. So, pwede na tayo mag-substitute sa standard form. So, we have quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 6 squared is equal to 3 squared. So, ang gagawin natin, isi-simplify na lang natin to, then makukuha na natin si standard form. So, we have here, quantity x minus 2 squared plus quantity y minus 6 squared is equal to 9. Naging 9 siya kasi 3 squared or 3 times 3 is equal to 9. So, ito na ngayon yung standard form for example number 2. Ngayon, kukunin naman natin si general form from the standard form. So, mula dito sa standard form natin, kailangan natin siyang expand para makuha natin si general form. So, we can write this as quantity x minus 2 times the quantity x minus 2 since meron tayo ditong quantity x minus 2 squared. So, ang ibig sabihin neto, dalawang beses daw natin uulitin ang x minus 2. Same with y minus 6 squared. So, meron tayong quantity y minus 6 times the quantity y minus 6 is equal to 9. Since meron tayo ditong dalawang binomial na kailangang i-multiply, gagamit tayo ng concept ng FOIL method. So, kung i-recall -re natin, ang f 
sa FOIL method ay, first, ang O ay outer, ang I, inner, ang L ay last. So, unahin muna natin si first. So, x times x is equal to x squared. Next, x times negative 2 is equal to negative 2x. Next, for inner, negative 2 times x is equal to negative 2x. And finally, last, negative 2 times negative 2 is equal to positive 4. For the y term, we have y times y is equal to y squared. And then, y times negative 6 is equal to negative 6y. Next, negative 6 times y is equal to negative 6y again. And then last, negative 6 times negative 6 is equal to positive 36 is equal to 9. So, ang susunod na step na kailangan natin gawin is i-combine yung mga like terms. So, dito, ang like terms dito, we have negative 2 minus negative 2 and negative 6y minus negative 6y at yung mga constant. So, ang makukuha natin ngayon dito, we have x squared minus 4x since negative 2x minus 2x is equal to negative 4x. Next, copy lang natin muna yung 4. Then, plus y squared. And then, minus negative or minus 12y. Since negative 6y minus 6y is equal to negative 12y. And then, plus 36 plus 9. I-combine naman natin yung mga constant. So, ita-transfer na natin itong 9 from this side papunta dito. So, ibig sabihin magiging negative na siya. So, we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 12y plus 4 plus 36 minus 9 is equal to 0. So, isimplify na lang natin itong mga constant, then makukuha na natin si general form. So, ang general form ngayon, we have x squared plus y squared minus 4x minus 12y plus 31 since 4 plus 36 minus 9 is equal to 31 is equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung general form for example number 2. For example number 3, ang center natin, we have negative 2, 7 and radius is 4. So, kailangan lang natin i-identify si H, si K, at si R. From the example, H is equal to negative 2, and K is equal to 7, and R is equal to 4. So, by direct substitution, we get x minus negative 2 squared plus quantity y minus 7 squared is equal to 4 squared. So, isimplify lang natin siya. Makukuha natin dito ay x plus 2 squared. Naging x plus 2 siya kasi negative times negative 2 is equal to positive. Kaya naging x plus 2 squared. And then, we have plus quantity y minus 7 squared is equal to 16. Nakuha natin yung 16 because 4 squared or 4 times 4 is equal to 16. So, nakuha na natin yung standard form ng equation ng circle from example number 3. Para naman makuha natin ang general form, Kaparehas lang din ang example number 2, kailangan nating expand si standard form. So, we have here quantity x plus 2 times the quantity x plus 2 
plus quantity y minus 7 times the quantity y minus 7 is equal to 16. So, gagamit ulit tayo ng FOIL method. So, we have here x times x is equal to x squared. Next, x times 2 is equal to 2x. Next, 2 times x is equal to 2x. And finally, 2 times 2 is equal to 4. Para naman makuha natin itong term dito sa y, we have y times y is equal to y squared. And then, y times negative 7 is equal to negative 7y. Para naman sa inner, we have negative 7 times y is equal to negative 7y. And then last, negative 7 times negative 7 is positive 49 is equal to 16. Next, combine lang natin yung mga like terms. So dito, ma-identify natin ang mga like terms. We have 2x and 2x. And dito naman, negative 7y and negative 7y. At huwag natin kakalimutan yung mga constant. Pagsasamahin din natin yan later. So, ang magiging sagot ngayon natin dito, we have x squared plus 4x since 2x plus 2x is equal to 4x. Plus 4 plus y squared minus 14y since negative 7y minus 7y is equal to minus 14y. And then, plus 49 is equal to 16. Next, ilipat naman natin si 16 dito sa kabila. So, from positive, magiging negative na siya. So, we have here x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 14y plus 4 plus 49 minus 16 is equal to 0. So, pwede na nating isimplify itong constant na to. So, we have here x squared plus y squared plus 4x minus 14y plus 37. Since 4 plus 49 minus 16 is equal to 37. Is equal to 0. So, ito na ngayon yung magiging general form ng equation ng circle sa example number 3.